हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ए स्टैंडर्ड एजम्पन्स यूज इन आईसी इंजिन नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस एजम्पन्स वन बाय वन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ इट इज एसआई इंजिन इट इज पेट्रोल इंजिन इन केस ऑफ एसआई इंजिन पेट्रोल इज यूज एज अ वर्किंग फ्लूड देन देयर विल बी अ एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर there will be a air fuel mixture is taken in during suction stroke right we can represent as air fuel mixture afm right but my dear students the volume of air the volume of air is very very high as compared to volume of fuel hence we are assuming that air is only working fluid in this case the first assumption is air is only working fluid working fluid that is we are assuming there is no fuel there is only air right therefore we are using all the properties of air for calculation the second assumption is it is a perfect gas we are assuming it is a perfect gas hence ideal gas equations are valid hence ideal gas equations are valid that is we can say pv is equal to mrt pv is equal to mrt this equation is valid where p is pressure absolute pressure in pascal v is volume in meter cube m is mass in kg r is gas constant in kilojoule per kg kelvin right or joule per kg kelvin we can say joule per kg kelvin also And T is temperature in Kelvin. T is temperature in Kelvin. Right. This is ideal gas equation. Hence, all the ideal gas equations are valid as we are assuming it is a perfect gas. Right. Now, next assumption is third assumption is the specific heat at constant pressure C P, specific heat at constant volume C V, and this specific heat ratio that is gamma, which is nothing but specific heat ratio C P divided by C V. these values are not functions of temperature that is independent of temperature these values are independent of temperature of temperature means cp is not a function of temperature as well as cv is not a function of temperature as well as gamma is not a function of not a function of temperature but in real condition in actual condition all these values are a function of temperature and here we are assuming cp cv and gamma are not a function of temperature right that means with respect to temperature with respect to temperature the cp value will remain constant with change in temperature cp will remain constant cv will remain constant as well as gamma will remain constant with change in temperature this is our assumption my dear students in next lecture we are going to start actual air standard cycles or ic engine cycles so before start of this cycles remember one note that is for any process process ratio is always more than 1 so here we can say process ratio process ratio is always more than 1 this is very important note right let us say there is a compression process first we are saying there is a compression process there is a compression process right now during compression process if i draw pv diagram if i draw pressure versus volume diagram now for compression definitely the volume will decrease compression means volume will decrease and definitely pressure is increasing and as pressure is increasing temperature is definitely increasing this is called compression process all this you have learned already in basics of thermodynamics here compression is reversible adiabatic process compression is reversible adiabatic process generally it is reversible adiabatic process that is isentropic constant entropy process isentropic or reversible adiabatic constant entropy process therefore from initial position let us say i is initial and ef is final from initial to final the process will go like this ef is final right compression pressure will increase temperature will increase and volume will decrease now let us say we are writing compression ratio we are writing compression ratio 
कॉम्प्रेशन रेशियो जनरली वी आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग विद हेल्प ऑफ आर के एंड कॉम्प्रेशन रेशियो इज फॉर वॉल्यूम देर फोर वी कैन से आर के इज इक्वल टू दैट इज दिस प्रोसेस रेशियो मस्ट बी मोर देन वन देर फोर इनिशियल वॉल्यूम डिवाइड बाय फाइनल वॉल्यूम इनिशियल वॉल्यूम डिवाइड बाय फाइनल वॉल्यूम राइट विच इज मोर देन वन देन देर विल बी अ प्रेशर रेशियो देन देर विल बी अ प्रेशर रेशियो राइट प्रेशर रेशियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट विथ आर पी नाउ हियर फाइनल प्रेशर इज मोर एज कंपेयर टू इनिशियल प्रेशर एज कंपेयर टू इनिशियल प्रेशर देर फॉर प्रेशर रेशियो विल बी फाइनल प्रेशर डिवाइड बाय इनिशियल प्रेशर विच इज नथिंग बट मोर देन वन दिस रेशियो विल बी मोर देन वन अगेन देर इज अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर रेशियो टेम्परेचर रेशियो दैट इज आर टी टेम्परेचर रेशियो नाउ एज now pressure is directly proportional to temperature remember pressure is always directly proportional to temperature therefore it will be final temperature divided by initial temperature which will be more than 1 right now this is a process ratio for compression process for compression process let us say there will be a expansion process expansion process and my dear students expansion pro during expansion process volume will increase simultaneously pressure will decrease and temperature will decrease because it is a reversible adiabatic expansion because it is a reversible adiabatic expansion process reversible adiabatic expansion means isentropic expansion that is entropy will be constant and if i draw process on pv diagram if i draw pv diagram that is volume will increase and pressure will decrease that is from initial to final here we can say initial volume to final volume volume will increase and pressure will decrease that is initial pressure is more as compared to final pressure right and if i write here process ratios as this is a expansion process then there will be a expansion ratio then there will be a expansion ratio and expansion ratio is nothing but volume ratio that is represented by re expansion ratio is represented by re which is nothing but final volume divided by initial volume which must be more than 1 again there will be a pressure ratio rp pressure ratio will be that is initial pressure divided by final pressure initial pressure divided by final pressure pressure which must be more than 1 again there will be a temperature ratio now pressure ratio is directly proportional to temperature ratio therefore initial temperature divided by final temperature right and expansion and compression are reversible adiabatic processes this is very important point that is compression and expansion processes are reversible adiabatic processes that is reversible adiabatic process reversible adiabatic process is also called isentropic process it is also called isentropic process isentropic means constant entropy and for constant entropy the process is represented as pv raised to gamma is equal to constant on pv plane if i draw pv plane then p v raised to gamma minus 1 p v raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to constant and if i draw pt plane then t p raised to 1 minus gamma divided by gamma is equal to constant this is a reversible adiabatic process all are reversible adiabatic process on various planes on pv plane p v raised to gamma is equal to constant on tv plane t v raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to constant on tp plane t p raised to 1 minus gamma divided by gamma is equal to constant right means we can write initial pressure initial volume raised to gamma is equal to final pressure final volume raised to gamma again we can write pi vi raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to tf vf raised to gamma minus 1 again we can write tf ti pi raised to 1 minus gamma divided by gamma is equal to tf pf raised to 1 minus gamma divided by gamma and my dear students if i simplify this if i simplify this remember the process becomes the very important relation i am going to tell you here and these all relations already you have studied in basics of thermodynamics subject right but here i am recalling these things right the relation becomes we can write pf divided by ti is equal to pf divided by pi raised to gamma minus 1 divided by gamma is equal to vi divided by vf raised to gamma minus 1 this is how we can write right 
my dear students see here in initial equation if i see here tv plane on power there is 1 minus gamma divided by gamma 1 minus gamma divided by gamma but if i write general expression it is pf divided by pi raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma remember don't forget these things don't do mistake in examination that is we can write t2 divided by t1 is equal to p2 divided by p1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma is equal to v1 divided by v2 raised to gamma minus 1 this is how the equation can be derived and if i want to write tp plane then tp raised to 1 minus gamma divided by gamma is equal to constant right t1 p1 raised to 1 minus gamma divided by gamma is equal to t2 p2 raised to 1 minus gamma divided by gamma this is how we have to write right don't do mistakes in the calculation these all things you have already learned in basics of thermodynamics subject and this is the equation for reversible adiabatic process reversible adiabatic process or also called isentropic process that is constant entropy process thank you dear students in next lecture we will start year standard cycles